this is the mantra of marketing, CCDVTP. I mean, I don't know if your boss quoted that. Probably not because I just invented it. But what it means is your job is to create, communicate, and deliver V, value, to a T, target market, at a P, profit. Create, communicate, and deliver value to a target market at a profit. Now, let's take the create, communicate, and deliver. Creating value is called product management. Your product may be a service, but whatever, whether it's a tangible or an intangible, some way your company must have product management. That's, a, that's creating value. But you have to communicate value. That's called branding. And that's brand management. There's a difference between product management and brand management. You could have five products. What have you, do, what have you done to brand them? To communicate excitement, differentiation, and so on. And then to deliver value is called customer management. So you're in three businesses, product management, brand management, and customer management. And they've changed. You know, product management was really this business of you have a company, and from the inside you make things, and then you ask the sales and marketing people to get rid of them. You do it inside. You do it with your scientists and engineers. What's changing in product management today? Take Procter & Gamble. The ones making a new product for Procter & Gamble are not just their scientists inside. They have connected with ten times as many scientists outside. See, the old idea was you've got to do things secretly. In other words, you're inventing something that Unilever shouldn't know about. Closed doors. Now, P&G will tap scientists anywhere in the world where they have solutions to a problem that P&G wants to solve. For example, P&G makes Pringles, and they decided that for kids they'd like to print funny things on each Pringle, which is a potato chip. How do you print a funny th thing, a picture, or a word on a Pringle chip? And their scientists couldn't figure it out until they identified a uh, cookie maker in Italy who has been printing things on his cookies. So it's called open technology. Open innovation is the, the word we're giving. Find the best ideas anywhere they can come from. So with respect to product management, we've opened it up. With respect to brand management, brand building, that used to mean packaging. Uh, it meant a name, a logo. Brand management today is what you're all about. The brand is a promise. The brand inspires everything you do. The way you act when you're approached and when you reach customers. And it's emotional. It's going to be highly emotional. And there's, there's a new direction. Emo emotions were generally thought, uh, the, the formula was this. I'm going after your mind. I'm going after your heart. I want mind share and I want heart share. Now we're saying we also want spirit share. Share of something a little more than narrow to your own interests. We might be a firm that is civic, is caring, and we want to be appreciated because we, we care about the shape of the world, and that's called corporate social responsibility or whatever, but in creating an emotional relationship, it's more than uh, limited to the person's own uh, nurturing of, of his or her ego. So CCDVTP, and even the D of customer management has changed. Customer management, do you think you're doing customer management if you essentially 
have a database of customers. And you're reaching them through direct mail and online email and so on. Is that really customer management or is that dealing with a database? What's new about customer management is we want to meet the customers and know them really beyond the database. In fact, we want to we want to get their help to get the customers help in creating products. We want to co-create with the customer our products. And we want to even co-create our advertising. We want their help in creating ads for us. Now this is a, a radical change in marketing. 